let us get to a morning must read. Here's Olivia Stearns. Uh, Tom, my morning must read is from Robert Reich of the University of California at Berkeley. He is writing in the Huffington Post saying, quote, why college is not for everybody. He says a four-year college education is too often ill-suited and unnecessary. It is time to give up the idea that every young person has to go to college and start offering high school seniors an alternative route to the middle class. Uh, Professor Robert Kaplan of the Harvard Business School is still on set with us. Uh, Professor Kaplan, what do you make of what the former labor secretary is saying? The biggest absurdity is that a four-year college degree has become the only gateway into the American middle class. <laughs> well, I mean, all the data shows that college, uh, more education, college education is helpful in terms of the rest of your life. I think he's citing, I think the bigger article he, he cited is the skills mismatch in the United States. In many cities, there, there are unemployed and there are skills that haven't been filled, and he's suggesting people go to two-year, more technical yes, colleges. Yes, vocational train, apprenticeship. That's, that he's, trying to, he's trying to address that. What's the why? Why are we having this discussion? What is it about America where we're embarrassed, as the professor embarrassed brings up? Well, let me, let me just introduce this fact. The Federal Reserve Bank of New York says 46% of recent college graduates were in jobs that didn't even require a college degree. Yeah, I think the reason this is coming up in the United States now is the over trillion dollars of student debt, and right. that's why this yeah. is a bigger issue. Yeah. So if we were to be charging less for college, do you think then it would become suddenly a gateway to the middle class? No, I think this is an argument for vocational training apprenticeships and two-year college degrees. The local skills mismatches for many businesses, and but the trillion dollars of student debt has now actually become a real economic issue. And this is also, but this, I mean, there's an argument about what college is in America, which is one way to look at it is it's finishing school to be a member of the middle class. You learn to say and do all the things that you have to do to have a certain kind of job. But I, I mean, I, I don't think any of us here on the table can, are using the stuff we learned in college right now in our jobs. I know for a fact that I am not. I, I am. I have not once been able to quote Goethe uh, on this desk. So I mean, I mean college is a long term. Ruskin can do that. It's a long term investment that may not help you until later in life. I don't think mm -hmm. it's intended to get you ready for your first job. The Germans do this better, don't they? Uh, do the Germans do this better? I mean, there, there's no debate there. They have a huge emphasis on, uh, on higher education there. But the United States is still the best. People from around the world are mm -hmm. coming to this country, from every country in the world, to get educated here. We're still the leader in the world in higher education. I, I think, it, I think it's a, the skills mismatch thing is a really yeah. important issue.